Track wrestling with Stevan Micic from Serbia. Qualified the weight, and that has to be an exciting opportunity for you. You're probably going to the Olympics here. You are going to the Olympics. How does yeah. that feel? Uh, it feels cool to be an Olympian, you know, but uh, I just felt like I, you know, I, I just was coming a little short in this tournament. That's what it was me for me. It was trying to come back with gold, come back with a medal, and I just had two opportunities uh, that, you know, I was so close and make winning both those matches, one, you know, and both the top to medalists, uh, previous medalists. Um, so, yeah, it just, it feels good though otherwise with the Olymp with being an Olympian because now I can really put my effort into, into that for the next year. Um, now I have to worry about qualifying because, uh, with Europe, it's a lot diff It's different than USA. With with USA, Pan Am's is it's a little bit easier to qualify, but it's tough to make the team. Well, flip flop, flip flop. It's like I have to do all the work to qualify myself through a tough European Championship for all the guys who didn't come qualify, and and so that that takes some stress off my back. Can, uh, you know, now I can I know I'm going, so that's awesome. But I've got a lot of work to do to to. To make the flip, uh, flip the switch, and make those adjustments, get everything else under control, and uh, represent Serbia. Most probably no, but for those who don't know, you are a three-time All-American at Michigan. You're from the United States. Take us through why you decided to wrestle for Serbia and that journey to get there. Uh, yeah, so I've a lot of people ask me about this, and and uh, I, I, my name obviously isn't something that's pretty easy yet to come across. It's uh, I'm I'm Serbian. I'm 50%. My dad's 100%, and uh, he's from he's from uh, Yugo, former Yugoslavia. But my grandparents are from, uh, and um, basically, like I hold my like I have a lot of pride in my heritage where I come from, and it's a, kind of it's something that was on my mind, uh, always wrestling through like the cadet and junior ranks for freestyle. But uh, it's it uh, it really changed my mind when I found out that that um you know it's like possible that it's not like I mean it's it's it wasn't I, I felt at the time that it was kind of taboo but to be honest it really wasn't that big of a problem and um, obviously I'm getting to go to these places all over the world and compete but if it still doesn't I mean no matter where I go it's you're gonna get t tough competition and if you're not gonna do good then you're not gonna do good where if you, if you move so it was something to me that meant more than just trying to it wasn't about like moving away from any competition or you know so Take us through the next year because you are wrestling for Serbia. You have another year of eligibility at the University of Michigan where you can be your three-time All-American, as we mentioned. I, I don't know if Olympic redshirt rules apply. Do you think about that? What's the next well, step for you? Well, we're just kind of figuring out what's the best decision for me and if that's a, if that's a possibility to redshirt. Um, so it's, it's you know, we kind of I wanted to think about this after the tournament and uh, get some time, talk to my family, my coaches. Um, yeah, and just yeah, that's about it. It's 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 kind of still up in the air what I'm trying to figure out, and it's it's a big decision. So I'm trying to get that solved soon. And it is interesting that you and Dayton Fix are in the same weight class collegiately, and here you are at the World yeah, Championships. It was, it was crazy, um, but that's that's like not really seen at all in in uh, college or just anywhere where two guys you know wrestling from college can end up being in the same weight class even. So that was kind of looking forward to maybe, maybe wrestling. Uh, in the tournament or you know so how's the weight cut to get to 57 kilos um it's been I'm doing a better job it's it was good it's just um you know I, I want to make sure that's something I'm really zoned in about uh especially more than taking care of my body because I've been doing a good job with that but just uh getting ready for the day of the competition and making sure I'm feeling good for every match these matches fly by and getting ready, feeling like the quarter semifinals is literally. I just got off the mat, and I had to wrestle 15 minutes later. So that's something to put into perspective. So, and another thing you want to check off is winning an NCAA championship. Yeah. You ready for that process and that journey? Yeah, that's something that I also I think I people kind of brush under me asking about just my freestyle goals. But you know, coming this year, I was a little injured and didn't get the job done. So now I've got one more year left to want to do that. So figuring out either well, it's going to be this year or next year. So, striving for an NCAA championship, striving for an Olympic gold medal. Stevan Micic, thanks for the time. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.